Good morning, welcome to my broadcast. It's uh, September the 5th, 2022. Monday, September the 5th, 2022. And it's about just gone about 10.05 a.m. GMT. Welcome to my broadcast on the F122 game. And we are reliving some of the stuff at the weekend with the F1 and F2 competitions. Uh, so first of all, we're going to drive as Drogovic, who is the current leader of the uh, standings in F2, the Brazilian. And then we're going to do positions 10, 2 and 1 at the F1 Grand Prix in Zandvoort in the Netherlands. And 10th was Stroll, 2nd was Russell and 1st was Verstappen. Okay. I've never done the uh, base net thing. It's just coming, you can see that. Imperial skills of base net. I've never actually done that, but I might do it another time. Okay, so we go to. So we go to Solo and Grand Prix. I'm going to delete this one off. And we're doing F2 2021. Doing the Netherlands Grand Prix. Next up is Italy and then a Singapore after. And we're driving for Drugovic, who drives with Uni Virtuosi Racing. There he is, the uh, Brazilian. Now, if he wins the F2, which is looking good, uh, not sure whether he will get a seat at F1. Obviously, a lot of uh, recent twins and throwings with the established F1 drivers and no one can really tell what's going to happen yet. Okay, so it's AI hard 60, it's assisted race starts. Rules and flags, corner cut and is strict as it is in real life, broadcast pit stop experience uh, where it's looked after for you. If you do the immersive, as it says, it tests your ability to turn into pit box at the optimal time. Never done that before, might do it in the future. Not going to play around with the weather and time of day, although I've been driving in the wet for this Grand Prix. Reconstruction, there's no practice, there's no qualifying, and the race format is we have the sprint and feature. I'm just going to do the feature one, and it's short five laps. I have a steer. Uh, sorry, I have a wireless controller on a PS4, not a steering wheel, and it's medium brake assist, medium traction control, auto gearbox, pit assist on, pit release assist on, pit ERS assist on, and DRS assist assist on. Start the event. So it's a randomised grid. I'm not sure where I'm going to end up. Been getting plenty of practice this weekend on this, even in the rain, which I have finished the races. But I haven't really had got any good finishing positions so far.
Welcome along to Zandvoort for another fascinating Formula 2 race today. Four lefts and ten rights make up the 14 corners of the narrow and demanding Zandvoort circuit, with plenty of peaks and valleys over the course of the 2.6 mile lap, which will demand absolute concentration from our drivers here today. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's results with a look at the Let's have a look group. at the starting grid and see where Dubovic. There's Lungard, who's an Indy car driver, ticks him as a former E-driver. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have... Porcher. Porcher is second in the stands Pierre and on fourth. And Nisani. We get straight on with it. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated... Okay, right hand side, not the worst place to be. Lights out, and away we go. We've been five laps, no point really coming in. We'll see that's got the uh, countdown to the strategy, but you know, five laps is no point. 25%, 50% race, yeah, definitely. But I did come into the safety car, uh, come into the uh, pits. So yeah, after this, uh, we're doing positions 10, 2 and 1 on the F1 Grand Prix at Zandvoort. 
that will be Stroll, Aston Martin, Russell, Mercedes, and Verstappen obviously who won the race. Very dramatic race. There's a chance Hamilton could win it. Win it. Then there was a virtual safety car, and then very quickly there was a safety car. A little confusion around, and Hamilton wasn't happy, and unusually was. Recorded as swearing back a lot. So we weren't happy with the strategy. <clears throat> the Mercedes, despite that, and Hamilton would be happy, I think, with the overall pace. He did select hards. So he selected mediums where a lot of these selected softs. And he was driving well on. Italy will be a really good chance for Hamilton to for his first but from three of the seat of the year. Second time penalty, so the challenge will be to stay ahead of Vips, who's eight seconds behind. seconds You want to uh, bypass all the celebrations and the podium an celebration. And just press well the X done. button and just carry on. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? I'm going to say Jake Aitken. It was probably one of his best drivers of the season, and so I was impressed. Started fourth for the grid and finished 15. Six second time penalties. And the lap times Take considerably care. slower than the worst 127.703. Okay, next up will be F1, so we'll be doing Lance Stroll for Aston Martin and then after that Russell for Mercedes and Verstappen for Red Bull. This isn't the only stream this morning, I'm going to also be streaming FIFA 22 
a bit later on and I'm doing Portland versus Atlanta now the reason for that is that um, as I do the motorsports and it's MLS at the weekend um, I combine the two together and I play matches concerning motorsports circuits so Portland has actually had the IndyCar just gone and Atlanta is a circuit for NASCAR that's what I do basically I think Portland won 3 now so the challenge will be to beat them ok so Grand Prix F1 2022 Netherlands so we're now going to go to Aston Martin there's Lance Stroll and there's Sebastian Vettel who will be uh, ending ended his career at the end of the season the four time world champion but we're going to set Lance Stroll Lance Stroll interesting driver uh, hasn't really ha had any wins or many podiums but he's had over 100 races um, and he's still quite young so Aston Martin do have ambitious long term plans ok we'll just go through the <coughs> Just go through the what's the name. So it's AI hard, uh, AI difficulty 60 hard, assisted race starts. Walls and flats. It's corner cut intrinsic strict as it is in real life. Then there's a new um, setting called pit stop experience. You can select broadcast or immersive. I'm selecting broadcast. That means it's taken care of you. If you do immersive, you need to know what you're doing when you turn in. I think you have to go into a box or something. Uh, I will demonstrate at another time, but not today. Weather and time of day, we're going to leave that as it is, or have been on previous streams been uh, in the wet. We can structure. There's no practice, there's no qualifying, and as this is now Grand Prix, you basically. I'm just doing a short link. Good morning, Leslie Nielsen. Hope you're okay. Thank you for joining. Uh, and, and final thing is assists uh, I have a wireless controller on a PS4 not a steering wheel and it's medium brake assist medium traction control also the gearbox pit assist on pit release assist on EIS assist on and DO assist on I'm good thank you <clears throat> okay so we're driving uh, positions 10, 2 and 1 at the recent Zandvoort Grand Prix in the Netherlands. Tenth was Lance Stroll, the Aston Martin driver. Second was George Russell for Mercedes. And Verstappen claimed his second successive Dutch Grand Prix after winning it last year. So first of all, we have Lance Stroll, the Canadian from Aston Martin. And as I just said, an interesting driver hasn't really achieved much in terms of podiums or wins. But he has it's driven over 100 Grand Prix again, since the I believe. Out, the it's a randomised grid, so no idea what's going to happen. The driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Sergio Perez on pole today. And the I'm predicting around 10 or 11. Science completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Russell, Mick Schumacher, Ocon, Gasly. And Valtteri Bottas, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Lando Norris, and Magnussen, Ricardo, Joe, Sebastian Vettel, and Nicholas Latifi, Albon, and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. Wow, well, I'm right at the back. It's That's a good time. challenge. Five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Let's <laughs> see if I can. Uh... Natalie Pinkham joins me once again. Right hand side. That might be my preferred side in like this one group. Not too bad because I can hang off the back. Thank you.
chest for that one, yeah. You're a fella you're a fella twitcher, yeah?
So it's another five laps under my belt of the uh, Zagreb Grand Prix, and uh, that's a good thing. It was a magnificent race and a dry... Here come today's winners. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Natalie Pinkham. Come on, who do you pick? Well, there's no question in my mind. It has to go to George Russell. What a performance. He's got every right to be proud of what he accomplished out there today. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. So I uh, over nearly three seconds slower than everyone else there. Did finish the race. Next, I'll be George Russell, who came second. At one stage during the race yesterday, it looked like it could be a 1-2 for Mercedes. But as I said, um, a virtual safety car, and then very quickly a safety car made it all very complicated on the tyre strategies. Uh, Hamilton, uh, <coughs> Hamilton and Russell had started on different tyre compounds to the uh, Red Bulls and the Ferraris. So it will be uh, George Russell. Mm -hmm. AI Hard 60, assisted race start. Corner cut and stringency strict as it is in real life. Broadcast is the pit stop experience which it's looked after automatically. Not tinkering with the weather and time of day. Weekend structure, there's no practice, there's no qualifying, and it's a short session length, five laps. Assists, uh, controller not a steer wheel on a PS4, wireless uh, controller on a PS4. Meaning brake assist, medium traction control, automatic gearbox, pit assist on, pit release assist on, EIS assist on, and DRS assist on. we have in store for us today with a competitive field ready to do battle once again hold on to the edge of your seat it's time for another it's a randomized grid far away from starting here's what today's grid rundown looks like an immense lap from lewis hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position edging out sergio perez who lines up p2 considering the rest of the grid we have leclerc science george russell and Gonna have to battle with the stuff in behind me on the right hand side.
wait for the marshals. So when you have a crash there are various options there but I'm not going to do them today but if you select the circle button that will bring you out of it and then you can retire from the session or restart the session and retire from the session and you retire from the session altogether. So that didn't last very long. Okay, so this will be the last race on this uh, broadcast. And this will be Verstappen, who's won two in a row at the Zandvoort Grand Prix. Not as impressive this year as last year, but still he won. He now has 10 Grand Prix wins this year, which is very, very impressive and the record is 13 in a season with Michael Schumacher for Ferrari and for Sebastian Vettel in his last title 2013. He now has 30 Grand Prix wins which is putting him up the list significantly. Next up is Alonso with 32. Okay, so simulation settings, uh, 60 AI difficulty, assisted race start. Walls and flags, corner cut and stringy strict as it is in real life, broadcast, pit stop experience, it looks after it for you. I'm not going to tinker with the weather and the time of day.
So weekend structure. There's no practice, no qualifying, and it's a session length. It's just short. You do have 25%, 50%, and 100%. Assists. I'm on a controller on the steering wheel, a wireless control on the PS4. Medium brake assist, medium traction control. What about the gearbox? Pit assist on. Pit release assist on. EOS assist on and DIS assist on. Start the event. Don't know where he will be on the grid, it's randomised. In the wet, sixth. Right hand side. Anything could happen here. There's no DRS, but I'm close enough to overtake one of these maybe on the straight. So when you've had a crash, there are various uh, options there, which I'll go into later on. But the simplest thing to do is press the circle button. And 
and then retire from the session or restart. on the driver of the day. Natalie Pinkham, come on, who do you pick? Hmm, difficult call, but I'd like to say Esteban Ocon. He's just so gifted at getting the most. Okay, that's it off for today. I'm gonna to have a quick look at what the podium challenge, podium pass day challenge is at the moment. I was doing that uh, a few weeks ago and may return to that. So if you want to do the podium pass day challenge, you go to Player Hub. Then take your right bumper across to Challenges. The challenge always comes at 12 o'clock every day. So if we look at the challenges there, you've got three that are online races, or there's win the race at Great Britain driving for McLaren. Okay. I'm going to replace one of those challenges with the square button. And that has been replaced by a picture of Monaco. Okay, so that's it for the moment. But I'll be back in about 10 15 minutes. FIFA 22. MLS. Portland versus Atlanta. My challenge is to win as Atlanta, who lost 2-1. Okay, so thank you for watching, following and viewing. Follow me on Twitter at SportyPH2. A lot of European football this week, even though I do motorsport updates. Catch you again. Thank you.